Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. Today is the day. Today is the NFL Bourbon Super Bowl. We've got four glasses in front of us and any four of these can be any one of these eight bottles that made it into the final eight. I'm recording this right after doing the top eight seating so I have no idea which ones moved on to the Super Bowl and this is going to be absolutely crazy. I cannot wait to get into these four glasses right here. But before we get into these glasses, I need to thank you guys so much for the love and support throughout this entire NFL bourbon craziness. We started this back in September and everybody has absolutely loved this series. If you guys want me to do more of these in the future, maybe do some college football, basketball, uh, baseball, who knows, whatever you guys want, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if your team is still in the Super Bowl or if your favorite bourbon is in the Super Bowl. Um, like I said, these are head to head to head to head. I had a lot of people in the comments saying, why aren't you doing two glasses to do a true Super Bowl? And well, for me to have four bourbons come out on top out of 32 teams, in my opinion, is just amazing to have these. And to have a one-two punch going into a make a full episode, um, is a little bit difficult It'd be a really short one So I wanted to have something that had a little bit more substance to it and uh, you know have something really really fun for this final episode for you guys But man, I cannot wait to dive into these four glasses We're gonna go from left to right as always and fast forward right to left and we're going to pick a Super Bowl winner and uh, this is going to be absolutely amazing and uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we're starting here on our left and like I said, I'm recording this a little bit after the previous round. So I renumbered everything. I poured these. These have been sitting for a good 20 minutes. And man, this is going up on Friday. So yeah, this, it's going up on Friday. It's two days away from the actual Super Bowl. And I, I would imagine that a lot of people are getting antsy for the Super Bowl, right? The last game of the year. And then we've just got the draft, OTAs, and then a couple of months until... August and September and then we got football back so this is gonna be fun this is gonna be fun yeah it's got a lot of maple coming through on it sweet decadence that's so nice let's get to the palette oh that is so sweet so upfront with that maple syrup whatever that is is a little bit different than compared to whatever we just had previous round because it it's opened up so so nicely but let's get into the second glass here. This one's a little bit more muted compared to the previous glass. It's not as punchy and bold on the nose. I do like it. It's it's simple. It's not giving you that punch that I'm looking for. Let's get another palette though. Wow, that is... That is thick and creamy, velvety wraps your tongue up the nose does not give you what that palette has to offer and i think that it j it really does move ahead solely off of that mid palette rolling into the finish with that sweetness that just wraps around your tongue compared to glass number one that is now in second place so here we go glass number three all right this nose is up front with a little bit of marshmallow Wow, that's got a lot of marshmallow, a lot of toastiness, oak. There's a little bit of a burn going on, like a charred oak. That's really pleasant. It's not, it's not, it doesn't come out on top of the other two though. I'm getting a little bit of apple. Let's get it a palate. It's sweet, it's easy to go to. It's a little lighter proof. I'd say it's above 100 though. That's really, really nice. That is really nice. Let's get into glass number four though. I already did get into it. We've recorded a bunch of videos today, so I'm starting to feel it a little bit, but we've had time in between those to let my palate reacclimate, let me come get down a little bit, and uh, I like this nose. 
This is more along the lines of like a traditional bourbon nose. It's sweet. It's easy to put your nose into. I get a lot of caramel, a lot of vanilla. This is probably the most bourbon style bourbon nose, whereas the, the first two were just like super dense and sweet. This one was a little bit more on that like heavier oak toastiness going on. This one is more along the lines of just like what you're looking for and possibly a higher proof bourbon because it does, it does give me a little bit of an ethanol kick on the nose. Let's get into the palate though. I think that at this moment, we have our order that they're going in because after that sip, that did not have anything comparative to the other three that are in front of it. It was just, it fell flat. It didn't have much um, punch. It didn't give you what you were really looking for and a lot of other things. But we're gonna go cleanse the palate again. We're gonna go through these right to left and fast forward it. And by the end of this, we're gonna have a champion and somebody holding up the NFL bourbon trophy. So without further ado, let's go cleanse my palate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our palate is cleansed and we're going to fast forward right to left to see which one of these is gonna come out on top. So here we go, starting on the right and going up against the one on the left. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our order. And in this book, we have every single team that has been eliminated, every single team that has moved on. And after the last round, my wife helped me tremendously in remarking everything and renumbering everything so that I had absolutely no idea who moved on into this final round. And we're going to find out right now who we had in the final four. So in the final four, I'm finding out right now, we had the Lions with Larceny A122. The Lions finally made the Super Bowl. We had the Seahawks with the 2XO Phoenix Blend. That's very interesting. We had the Giants with Barrel Batch 031. One of my absolute favorite pours. I'm, I'm very, very stoked that that made it into the Super Bowl. And then, unfortunately, the Cowboys. And I hope that Wild Turkey Rare Breed did not just get first place. Because I am not going to not hear it for the rest of my life from all you Cowboys fans, and me being an Eagles fan, that your bourbon won this thing. So we had them renumbered from 1, 4, 6, and 7 to one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna find out right now. So in fourth place, with number four, we had Cowboys, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. You guys can see everything numbered on that page. I'm not gonna let you spoil it for me. In third place, we had number three. And number three, was Larceny A122. And the winner of the Super Bowl of Bourbons here on the Everyday Drinker channel, we either had the 2XO Phoenix Blend or I emptied this bottle for this series and I'm so, so sad that that had to happen. We have one of these two bottles coming in first place. In first place, with number two, we had Barrel Bourbon Batch 31 come in first and 2XO Phoenix Blend come in second place. Wow, so. That is so crazy to me. The Barrel Bourbon Batch 31, one of the first barrel proof bottles of bourbon that I ever had ever gotten. And I talk so highly about, if you find a Barrel Bourbon Batch 31 in the wild, it is 100% 
a must get in my opinion. I don't know if you're ever gonna find one again. I know that it is one of the highly sought after barrel batches, just as much as 35 is, and that moved into the, the top eight. Um, but the Giants are the Super Bowl winners. And barrel batch 31 is crowned the king of the NFL bourbon madness. There you guys have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know down in the comments below if you were just bandwagoning a bourbon, if you were bandwagoning a team, if you picked a bourbon from the very beginning, if you picked Barrel as your favorite bourbon, or if you're a Giants fan and you won the Super Bowl. Let me know down in the comments below. This has been an absolute blast, but until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.